Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ryan Banks and my channel is about financial tips and tricks that you can bank on. And I post videos every second Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern. So today's topic is about tax brackets and I'm going to be going over how tax brackets work in relation to the marginal tax rates. And I'll also be going over the biggest misconceptions of uh, tax brackets. So before I start the video, I just want to thank the two people who had suggested this topic. Tax bracket is a system that the government put in place to tax Canadians differently based off of their portions of income that they make. So for example, if I make $90,000 in one year, the first $49,000 will be taxed at 15% and the additional $41,000 that I make will be taxed at 20.5%. So you can see that obviously more money that you make, more taxes that you will pay. So right now, right on your screen, you can see that the different uh, marginal federal tax rates for 2021. So you can see all the different portions or buckets of income and obviously more money that you make, the higher the tax rate. So this is where the biggest misconception comes in. So people think if they get a raise, they jump a whole tax bracket and their entire income that they make is taxed at a higher rate. This is false. So I'm just gonna give you a quick example. So right now, let's say I make $49,000 and that whole $49,000 is taxed at 15% and I get a $5,000 raise. So the additional $5,000 that I make is taxed at 20.5%. So not the whole $54,000 gets taxed at 20.5%. It's only my raise portion that gets taxed at that higher amount. So with that being said, if your boss gives you a raise, you take it because um, more money that you make, yes, you'll be taxed more, but there are a lot of different tax strategies that you can do to reduce that income. So a good example of that is RSP contributions. And you could see my previous video about RSP contributions. If you want more information, um, there are um, medical expenses, there are charitable donations, and there are a lot more different ways for you to try and reduce uh, to pay taxes when you do your personal tax return at the end of the year. So one uh, day a client had told me he likes when he pays taxes because that means he's making a lot of money. And if he's not paying a lot of taxes, he's uh, he doesn't like that because he's not making as much money, which means he didn't have a good year. So that's just something, a kind of a positive spin about tax brackets. So more money you make, yes, will be taxed more, but that means you have more money to play around with. To conclude my video, today I went through what tax brackets were and what the biggest misconception is. So again, if you get a raise, you take it. And my next video, I'm going to be going over certain sections in TurboTax of how you can file your own tax return. So if you have any ideas that what you want me to cover, let me know in the comments and I'll gladly be able to cover those for you. And if you're not interested in doing your own tax return this year, I'm going to be doing them on the side. So if you want me to file them for you, you can email me at ryanbankcpa at gmail.com. And finally, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you will be able to get a notification every time I come out with a new video. So I hope everyone has a great day and thank you for listening.